Hey there guys, it's Road Dog Just Politics here with a stream on a Wednesday evening in June. Um, hey there guys, oh, it's Road Dog Just boy. Politics here with a stream Sorry. on a Wednesday. I forgot, I forgot to mute my other YouTube video that's currently running. Amateur mistake, rookie error. So. Um, yeah, I decided that seeing as I hadn't done a video in about a week, um, and having watched Captain Swiss's stream on Sunday, very briefly, I must admit, um, I, I know that some people such as Well Shafted and Swiss and other people wanted to, uh, hear my opinion about what Trump is doing in America with regard to the child internment camps and separating families from each other at the border and ICE patrol guards just forcibly being quite violent and just quite vicious in their actions in trying to curb and control immigration and the sorts of excuses that the Republicans, the like at this point demonic Trump administration used to try and justify their actions and their piss poor excuses. So um yeah I wanted to talk about that. Um because I feel like I, I've been wanting to do a video about that but with the time that I've had, I, I feel like I wouldn't have given it the time it deserved for me to fully like do an investigative sort of big 20 minute video rant about it and how I feel. And so this video is the chance for me to sort of explain and put across my feelings about it. As many of you know, I absolutely despise Trump, President Trump. I don't call him that because I don't think he deserves that title. I always think like when people say, um, oh, what well, you should treat him with the respect that his office deserves. Well, I take it and I see that and I say, well, why doesn't he treat his office with the respect that it deserves? And he's clearly not doing that and hasn't done since he started his term way back in January 2017. So. I am not even going to come close to giving him any respect. Um, he doesn't deserve it. He is just a hollow, empty, pathetic little man who wants to be adored, wants to be loved, wants to have all the attention on him. And oh, isn't he doing a great job? Oh, I'm so great. Everything's so great. It's so tremendous. Fuck off. Like, kindly fuck off. I don't need it. I just don't want to hear you. I don't want to listen to what you have to say. I've given you every chance. You've had every opportunity. You've risen to the highest position in America you could possibly achieve. And you are wasting it. You are exploiting it. You are rubbishing it. You are treating people with disdain. Um, and you just... You're treating your position like a piece of bog roll. And I'm, I, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not having it. I'm just not having it. So uh, that's my opinion on Trump. And um, it's every time I see him on TV, I just, I just can't, I just can't. He's just such, he's such a monster. He, he and his administration is gutless, monstrous, just full of corrupt, egotistical, grimy, like just gorging themselves on money and profit and corruption and and greed and I'm, I'm constantly wanting more and more and and just bribery and filling themselves with with just more and more, like, if it comes from dodgy means, who the fuck cares, because I don't give a shit about um, 
checks and balances. I don't care about the rule of law. I don't care about Congress. I don't care about branches of politics that keep me in check. I don't care. I, I can use God. I can use Jesus as justification for the, sh the shitty, monstrous things that I'm doing because I'm a, I'm a Christian. I'm a good Christian person. No, you're not. You're not even close to being a Christ good Christian person. You belong in the pits of hell if you think that. You're a monster. You're just a monster. And you should, you should own it. You should own it. He's like, oh, I don't know why people don't like me. I sometimes come home and I think, oh, I don't like myself. Because like people are so, why are people mean to me all the time? Because you're a fucking dickhead. That's what you are. You're a dickhead that is just clueless, that has no skill, no integrity, no ability to think in like logical ways. Everything you do is solely for you and your benefit. And I, I've had enough. I, I've had enough of people thinking that he's somehow playing some sort of game of 3D chess and that he's he's kind of outplaying people without without us knowing it. And oh my God, was that a good move? Or did he? Did he outplay this person? And no, he's a he's just a, a clueless dickhead who knows nothing about foreign policy, knows nothing about running a country, knows nothing about politics, knows nothing about diplomacy, knows nothing about democracy. In fact, he's he's chipping away at democracy bit by bit. He's he's knocking back like what democracy was, and he's he's putting in its place like piecemeal fascism. And we should be wary because I think pe too many people are getting complacent about the fact. So just it's time to stop play, play, playing patty cakes with the right, the extreme of what is now the extreme right wing um, in America, the Republican Party, and fucking do something and make them make them take note of. I've I've had enough. I'm not playing games. I'm done with. I'm done with games. It's time to fucking fight back. <clears throat> I'm di I'm digressing a bit here. Um. But yeah, I I just despise the man. I despise him so so much, and I I am afraid I probably won't. I won't be there for the for the protests in in July. So far as we know, that that's the date that he's coming. Friday, Friday, thirteenth of July, I think. Um, and I believe that when he does visit, he'll be visiting the Checkers Estate, the, where Theresa May lives. I, is that in like I don't know where that is? Is it in like Oxford or something, or is it is it in Surrey or like it's, it's somewhere in the Home Counties? Um, but I hope that when he does come here next month he receives the biggest loudest um protest like we that we've ever had and he just knows what it is to feel like uh, just and, and not just to feel not wanted and not welcome because the things that he's doing just irreprehensible reprehensible I'm done with people who make excuses for him. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve it. I don't know how many times I have to say it. He's he's just a pathetic, tiny, tiny little twat who needs he needs a spanking from his mother. Who is probably not with us anymore, and it's a shame because she, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm really digressing from this this video. Yeah, this this video really um, I didn't really mean to take it that seriously because um, it's really just a chat between between us guys. Um, uh, I'm just looking at the the side chat now. Cameron and Captain Swiss are here as well as Adam. Hi guys, how are you doing? Um, I'm sorry I look a little bit of a mess. This is it. Bit of an impromptu video um it's quite it's quite warm still actually it's 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 still, still quite bright and i'm a bit i'm a bit sweaty i have to say um 
Cam says, this is what we get from the strong and stable genius. Um, <laughs> yeah, a very stable genius. <laughs> Look on the bright side, we don't have Clinton. Well, I mean, but emails, but emails, Cam. You didn't think about the emails. What could be worse than emails? You know, I don't know. I think, you know, loads of people voted for Donald Trump because they couldn't bear what the, what the um, other opposition side was. Like Hillary Clinton, the warmonger, the neoliberal, um, is going to continue with, you know, corporate capitalism. Um, but you can say all that and you can say all that with hindsight. But would you have ever imagined that with Donald Trump, we'd now be seeing what's happening now in America? But the amount of things that he's done, the amount of things that he's been allowed to get away with, I think because it's it's been so piecemeal, the things that he's done with regard to just ripping ripping away policies, um, just destroying envi environmental legislation. Um, with that, with just no regard at all for like what it, like what it means, like just um, coming coming breaking ties with like the Paris Climate Change Agreement, um, the UN Human Rights Council, um, and he just gives like shitty reasons, like oh it wasn't a good deal, it wasn't how wasn't it a good deal? What do you mean it wasn't a good deal? If you don't like something say 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 what it is that you don't like and then maybe we can do something about it and change but don't just say oh i don't like it so i'm gonna leave like that that's such a childish thing to do that's that's just i i just think he's just such a, he's a man child at heart and I, I think that he the reason why he's enacting all this sort of neo-fascist like politics and pol policies is that he he obviously admires Putin obviously like that couldn't be more stark he also he admires like strong men he admires people like Kim Jong Un and um, Erdogan in Turkey and and all these big like um you know big strong men right wing mainly like right wingers um, especially like in Europe um, and in Russia, who have really like um, strang strangleholds on their country and on their economy. Um, so, yeah, and I just I don't know what it is because I, I it feels like people are seeming to want to go in that direction or. Either that, or um, people that there, there isn't a bigger voice from progressives. I don't think progressives are coming out more or fighting, fighting hard, or because I I feel like at the moment, like we have a lot of like the the generation of baby boomers who were born in like the forties came of age in the 80s have like pretty much dominated politics for a long long time and have just had this stranglehold on on politics for a long time and have been able to influence corporations and and climbed up the ladder and you know got a hold of power and stayed there and that's the reason why we've now got people like jeff sessions and trump and mike pence and um you know three three presidents in a row well not in a row but we've had three presidents in the past 20 odd years who have all been born in the same year so uh trump for 46 clinton uh, bill clinton 46 and um george w bush 46 and now they're all into their 70s and um you'd notice that there's a lot of old white men in power still at the moment and I think that's from that's that's where that stems from. Just just having so much uh, power, influence, influence, and authority 
on the world of politics as a whole and and in places of of power like this big ceos big you know um places of authority and i think it's time now we've got to a point where we have to start changing we have to start changing who we are as a world as an economy as a people um so otherwise if we re remain with this sort of stagnation of people in charge of the world um we're just gonna extinct ourselves pretty much and that sounds extreme but from like the direction we're going in terms of climate change and global warming and um constant use of like fossil fuels um it's it's exhaustive it's not um well it is exhaustive we'll run out eventually and we're just poisoning our poisoning our planet and that's all the the fault of massive massive conglomerates and corporations and men i will say it because i think it's true that have just taken control and just aren't letting go um because it's just it's it's so much to to them it's just about owning things and having things and being so entitled and believing that you you know are entitled to all of this stuff without any consequence of things that are going to happen in the future of the next generation after you that's going to have to like carry the burden of the mistakes that the past generation have made and I think that's where we are at the moment. Um, so I think many of you will have heard that there's been like a quite a progressive um, breakthrough in terms of like Congress in America, which is really, really great. Um, there's been some like incumbents of like progressive, really progressive Democrats. I forget it's Alexandria something in America in this, the um, in, in New York. Um, and other other really progressive like justice democrats which i think is a really really great start and i think we need to see more of that more of progressive um policies more progressive movements much like jeremy corbyn in this country and um, i think it's happening in spain as well with their socialist government um so so yeah i think we definitely need to move forward and we need to do it now before it's too late. So that's where I stand with that. Um, but yeah, what are your guys' thoughts? Um, Styles is in the chat. Hello. Um, one of the major dams lost his primary. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. Um, Adam West says one thing about Trump is he does not he does what he said he would be. That's that. The thing yet the thing is with Trump is that he says he just says what comes to his head and tweets it. And people see that as being like really clever for some reason. Like, oh wow, he he's really thinking on his feet and he he just tweets this stuff and like he's been really influential in in like forming trans like influencing and forming people's thoughts and it's like no like he's just tweeted something obnoxious and it's spread across the internet and because he's the president people are talking about it on the news and i'm sure if i was the president or if i was the prime minister and i started tweeting a load of garbage about how a restaurant is not decorated very well it, it would receive quite a lot of news coverage um and instantly that did happen yesterday what kind of world are we living in what kind of world are we living in <laughs> jesus christ um cameron says i have little hope for the united states it is now i literally think they're going to need some sort of revolution to get close to sorting their problems out uh don't think don't think it man because women can be neocon as well oh oh for sure yeah 
yeah, I mean, I'm just saying it. The majority of the people in power at the moment are men. Um, that's just a fact. Just because I d I, we're still not at a point where women and men have equal um, chance at getting into power. For some, like, I, I just don't think the balance is is there at the moment. Um, yeah, the Bronx it was, and and Queens as well. Ale Alexandria, the progressive who won in New York. So, congratulations, yay! Um, Cam says the recent breakthroughs recently are interesting. Though I doubt the Democratic establishment will be to transform will be to transform actual socialists. No, I think at the moment, I think in terms of American politics, I think. The Republicans are now so far to the right um, in terms of the political spectrum that the Democrats have become what the Republicans were like five years ago, which is weird because both of them are just corporate capitalists at the end of the day. If you want to sum it up in a nutshell, both the Democrats and the Republicans are just as bought off as each other. So that's why we need a more progressive um party voted into power that does not take corporate money and um, does not allow themselves to be bribed and actually represents their constituents and represents the people rather than the corporate establishment that um pay them off basically and that is what i believe um obama was lauren did horrible th yeah i know but I, i'm not I don't want to do like what about her because I just don't think Trump and Obama are on this. Are you can I don't think you can compare the two and say, oh well, but Obama did this and Obama did that, so you can't really compare what Trump is doing. I think in this case you can. I think Trump is a fucking monster, and if Obama had done like even half of the stuff that Trump has done, like can you imagine if if Obama had tweeted? stuff about um israel and palestine and and oh my button's bigger than your button and <laughs> the, the, the whole world would go mad everyone would be like i can't believe we'd be talking about impeachment straight away you know people were thinking oh my god has he gone mad so don't falsely equivocate because i don't think that it's relevant in this situation um so yeah um that's that's my thoughts on on the whole trump thing and to be honest like with with the whole internment camp stuff i mean i think it it's sort of similar to the the, the gun debate in america as well with you know when you have uh another um gun crime happen or a mass shooting and everyone's really like rightly horrified and um you know we've got a list of the list comes out of how many people died and were injured and what kind of gun was used and what the name of the perpetrator was and whereabouts it was um and then inevitably we have the whole gun control debate which leads to nowhere all the time because no one in America is willing to even consider the idea of minimizing the amount of guns there are in the country um, because of their Second Amendment and um, because of the NRA and the amount of people that in Congress and in, in, in you know, in Washington, politicians are, are also bought off by uh, members of the NRA and by the um, military industrial complex to such a large extent that they're just not willing to let go of that source of income for themselves and it's just massive the amounts of money that we're talking about is insane um, and and so um, I was going to lead on to say or well, the, the discussion about gun control kind of goes on and on and and we've seen it with the um the most recent like uh 
shootings in uh i apologize i forget the name of it is was it in la someone correct me i i see i've i've it's normalized so much i've forgotten the name of it parkland that's the one florida florida that's the one um and you got you get right wing trump supporter um sort of talking heads come on people like set uh ann coulter and um sarah ingram and like uh sarah huckabee sanders and the other blonde chick who looks like a spindly old witch i forget her name um who who start spinning spinning the deaths of innocent teenagers at a school um and start saying well they're child actors who are taking advantage of this situation because they want gun control and this is all like a, a, a george soros conspiracy and like i'm just like what the f fuck and and even um I think the same person, Anne Coulter, was on TV recently, and she and she said that the children in the internment camps were child actors, and they just they're just allowed to get away with saying crap like this, outrageous crap, and it doesn't get it doesn't get it barely gets challenged. Like, how can you say stuff like that? I'd like to think in this country, if if someone like I don't know Fiona Bruce started spouting stuff like, oh, um, I don't know, um, I I can't think of that. Like, like, imagine if she said that the people who were being held in internment camps on the border in the U.S. were a actually just actors who were getting paid off by George Soros. Can you imagine? She'd be like suspended immediately. Can you can you imagine? Jesus Christ. I mean, to think that like this, this is just this spin and, and there's the, the ability for right wing pundits to be able to get away with the crap that they spell about, you know, everything from what Trump says in his tweets about other countries um, to, you know, what's going on at the moment. Oh, it's alternative facts. No, it's not. Stop trying to spin this. Like it, it's. I'm. I'm trying to get. Like it's. Just, I don't have the words. I don't have the words. Like it's just. It's so hard. Kellyanne Conway. Yeah. Spindly witch. Spindly witch woman. Oh Jesus. Um. So. Um, there's too, there's too much money in politics in the U.S. Say for thing to change for things to change. I agree, Adam West. Um, or take them over like we did with the Labour Party. I I definitely think there's, there needs to be some sort of revolution, or like I think the left definitely needs to take it needs to take another step away from just being passive. Um like passive react like reactionaries like i feel like the left is just always just ha having to take things like just rolling on the floor and just l letting ourselves be beaten by the right because we're we're peaceful and we want to have debate rather than violence but every time the right does something that is violent all we want to do is just sit down and Let's discuss this peacefully and reasons X, Y, and Z. Why did this happen? And it doesn't work. It's it doesn't work anymore because I think that we get the left is just slowly getting exploited for the fact that we just tend not to do anything. We just sit and we allow ourselves to sit and take it. And yes, we do protest, and yes, we do have marches, and we let our voices be heard. But I think we need to take a step forward um and be more progressive and shout more loudly and put like just start being more assertive and you know getting 
in the faces of people and actually saying like this is an issue this is a problem i i i'm done playing this game i've had enough i i'm done not being listened to i'm trying i'm sh i feel like we're shouting at the tops of our lungs but we're not being listened to so i think we need to go forward and take a different tack and do something different because we're just not being effective enough we're not being effective enough and whether that means doing things differently in politics or changing the way that we protest i don't know maybe you know i i don't want to condone violence but um, just do things differently because what we're doing currently is just not working. It's not, we're not, it's not working and we need to find a way to reach across the void and, you know, listen to each other because I think both the left and the right are just failing communications wise and, um, just not hearing what the other is saying. And I think that led to Trump and it also led to Brexit. So, that's that's what I think. Um, <clears throat> um, I'm going to try not to make this stream very long, simply because it's quite warm and hot, and I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> that's the honest answer. Um, Cam says the Labour Party was historically an evolutionary socialist party. Can anyone say the same about the Democrats, the same party that wanted to keep slavery? You've got a point. Um, got a point. I mean, it's kind of ironic that the Republicans were the ones that advocated against slavery and wanting to get rid of it, and yet now they've just turned into such a monster and like such a monstrous party that would probably, adv if we still had slavery now, they'd probably advocate for it. Can you imagine? Um. Thomas Williams says far right rhetoric is very popular in the US. Um, he's not acting, he sincerely believes everything he says. Then he's been doing it for like 20 years. Alex James did expose the Bohemian Grove. The Bohemian Grove. That. Um, Adam West says watch Fox News and you'll understand America. Ray Dog. Um, in Portland, they formed a human blockade of an ICE facility. They also do free brake light clinics to help people avoid having to interact with police if they're stopped for a brake light that's out. Um, in response to people of colour being killed after routine traffic stops. Oh, okay. Um, they're really cool people and they're organised and they're winning. Um, D oh, I think, yeah, DSA, I can't remember what they stand, that stands for, but they um, went into a restaurant where Sarah Huckabee Sanders was having a meal and properly shouted in her face about the child internment camps and like, shame, shame on you, shame, and just shouted her out of the restaurant. So I think, yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that action. And I think we should, you know, do more of it. Obviously, like, not be violent and not give people reasons to say things like, oh, I was afraid for my safety and do things that would, like, get you arrested. But, yeah, go further. Do more. Um, in the words of the suffragette movement, deeds, not words, that get you places. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's that's another thing as well. I, I feel like um in the, the Trump era, I mean America's always been quite a racist country and it's always been sort of permeating under sort of Yeah, there's always been like a rumble of, of racism. It's always existed. But um I think with the Trump era it sort of allowed it to like bubble up like from under the cracks and it's just I feel like police brutality is getting worse towards like people of colour and you know people black black citizens are just getting shot for no reason just you know for, for being black for just 
going about their business. And it, it's really infuriating because it's just, where does it, where does it stop? Um, I, it, it's just really horrific. Um, and like, even like, I think the other day there was a story that the Young Turks did of, there was like a seven year old girl, black, who was selling lemonade or like water outside of her house. And a woman, a white woman decided that she was going to call the police over the fact that she didn't have a permit to sell water. You're gonna call, let's be clear, you're going to call the police because a seven-year-old child is selling water outside your house. What the fuck? In this country, if you did that, they'd tell you, the police would tell you to fuck off for wasting police time. They would tell you that. Like, I'm not going to attend whatever crime, like, a non-crime this is because you know, it's not a crime. Please stop wasting our time. Uh, I used to, it, these, these occurrences are becoming more and more frequent. And it's just like white, white, well-off, privileged people are being allowed to, you know, vent their racist frustrations, like, to, like, and, and, and like, try and get away with with prejudices like just it's just being allowed to happen because of like innate like sub racism within the police and in some places it's worse than others like in places in the south where you know black guys can get shot for like just sitting in their car or just sitting in their garage listening to music doing absolutely nothing at all and they could just get shot for, for what? For like I don't even, I don't even know what for. And they'll just make up, they'll just make up a crime, and it will go through, and it'll be processed. Nothing will get done, and like, no one, no police will be arrested, no police will be charged. They'll be acquitted, and that will be the end of it. Because that's white privilege. That is the society of America. If you're black, you get treated like shit. And if you're white, you're privileged. And you get more things because the colour of your skin is better than the colour of that person's darker skin. That black person is a subhuman. They're animals who come from shithole countries, according to the president. African Americans come from shithole countries. The shithole countries that you took them out of and brought them over here in, in squalid conditions treated them like, not even like animals, like worse than animals. And now you expect them to like, what, go back home because you brought them here to work for you for, you know, no money, no payment, like just poor treatment. Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And America is built on immigrants. The whole entire North America is built on immigrants, unless you discount that to Native Americans who were there before anyone else, who got pushed out of their own country. It's disgusting. It's, it's fucking disgusting. And no one, like, barely anyone talks about it. Like, just, just the behaviour of, of people in America, like, just the attitudes of, like, oh, this is my country, I'm really proud of my country, and I'm proud of America, I have to stand up every day and sing the national anthem, and I have a flag in every motherfucking street because I'm so proud and patriotic, and oh my god, America is so great, I make America great again. America is not great, it's, you, you still, like, People like you've got assembly, you've got a semblance of democracy, a, a, like a, a shallow template of democracy, and you pretend that it exists when really it's just getting dug into the ground slowly. And you know, pretty soon people aren't going to have any rights, and they're not going to be allowed to to voice their op opinions if it's dissenting from like the the dear leader. 
So don't pretend that you live in a great country with, you know, amazing amounts of freedom because you don't. And you're, you're deluded if you think that you do. You're speaking the truth because you need to hear it. America's turning into a backwards country. Just a backwards country. Just saying. Um, <laughs> I feared for my safety that girl was secretly MS-13. Oh, I don't think there's, I don't think there's room to joke about stuff like this. Um, hello to everyone in the chat, by the way. It's good to, it's good to see you. Um, I, I was going to actually say the main premise of this video was going to be that this was probably going to be my last stream for a bit, just because I was thinking of um, going on a bit of hi of a hiatus, um, simply because um, I have started a new job and that's taking up a lot of my time, um, and I'm going on holiday next week as well, so I won't be able to make as many videos uh, if at all. Um, so the reason why I've not been sort of uploading very much in the past few weeks is because of like the new job so um I apologize so hopefully hopefully um I will be starting again in probably maybe about a month's time but I just want to try and settle into my new job and um you know make a go of it first and really concentrate on that and then uh after that goes after that then i will start uh restart doing uh my videos again and so yeah this this video is basically just sort of an announcement of of that um i feel like i just need a break from it uh at the moment um so yeah that that was what i came to announce um let's have a look at some of these comments I always sit in a really uncomfortable position when I'm sat on the floor like this. Um, um, ooh, there's been a lot of comments. Um, Adam West says, look at what the USA has done to Mexico in their drug war. Uh, Sizer says the USA built German tanks. That's, uh, Cameron says the American police is not professional. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I definitely feel that. That from what I've seen of American police, it's not it's not a pretty picture. And I feel like, well, people people say like, well, why don't you police in the UK carry guns? It's like, well, because we. We don't generally have guns in this country, so we don't really feel the absolute need to have them, like, arm the police with them. Only if it was, like, a, a really, really serious crime in which, like, it was a terrorist or something or, like, a massive drugs cartel or a, a drugs gang, then maybe, yeah. Or, or like, a, a, a mass riot, then perhaps. But not with, like, petty crimes like you know thieves and muggers and um but yeah just like i don't think it's needed um i think i think having police who carry guns i think does more harm than good within a community anyway um adam says police arrest people for jail jaywalking we're in the usa which is not a crime i thought it was i thought jaywalking was not allowed um it will take something extraordinary to change these problems then we can talk about the poor people in america with nothing who lose everything to debt they gain from medical bills that's true as well that's another topic for another day uh medic medicaid and medicare and affordable health care and universal health care for all such like what bernie sanders advocates um, but, you know, nobody is listening to what Bernie Sanders has to say because he's 
a progressive liberal socialist and nobody likes those just as you know Jeremy Corbyn is treated the exact same way in this country um Trump's gonna make gonna make America great again liberal. don't trigger me Thomas Williams don't fucking trigger me oh my god America has always been backward Historians actually call the American Revolution a conservative revolution. Turbo James, you're a new face. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, American police are supposed to cage animals. Impossible job. Jaywalking is a crime in some states. I can't believe that's a crime. Like, literally, isn't that just basically crossing the road where there's not a crossing? What a ridiculous thing to arrest someone for. Honestly, what a waste! What a waste of time! Waste of time. Um. Anyway, yeah. Um. I think I've just about run out of things to say. Unless, unless you guys in the chat want me to talk about anything, I've pretty much exhausted my my hate for Donald Trump. I I don't like I don't like calling him the president because he, I don't think that he deserves that title he just he just abuses he abuses his position and I don't think that he should be treated as he, I don't think he should be aggrandized in such a way that you know everyone bows down to him and thinks that he's such a great person when he's not he's a nothing of a person he's literally the the tiniest tiniest pathetic excuse for a human being I have seen in my lifetime and that's saying something I think the main reason he went for this presidency and I know he's tried to run for it a few times in the past um sorry I'm getting distracted by comments so yeah, he's tried to um, he's tried to run for president a few times in the past, and failed. But I I feel like the reason why he's doing what he's doing is because he so desperately wants to get approval from like the rich elites in America, and I, he's just never got it. And by becoming president, he wants to feel like he's adored in some way. He wants to feel like he's like a special person because he is just such a, a deeply insecure individual. So, so deeply insecure. I think that he has like daddy issues, like really deep, like father issues. Like everything, everything from the moment he was born has been handed to him on a silver platter. He has never had to work a day in his life. He doesn't understand the meaning of like a working American. Like he pretends that he does, but it's just it's just a parody. It's a, like it's a parody, and I just think it's a disgrace. He's he's a disgrace to humanity. His behaviour and and the way that he he just is destroying. And dismantling everything that is important within not just America, but like the world as a whole, and like diplomacy within with, with other countries and with Europe, and like the trade war that he's starting with China and, and also the EU um, and other countries. He just has no understanding of what it what, what this all means and the ramifications of of what will happen. So I don't think he deserves all this praise that he's getting from, especially like the evangelical side, like his his main body of support, who who insanely believe that if Trump carries out their wishes, then they'll get ever closer to like the rapture and the end of the world, and you know, um, they'll. They'll go to heaven, and ugh. it's just such. It's his whole reason for being is just greed and profit and self-preservation, and 
just self, constant self, self, self. And he pretends to give a shit and he really doesn't. Hello, well shafted. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I actually mentioned you at the beginning of this video because um, I remember you saying on, in Swiss's stream that you wanted me to talk about Trump and I have and I am now. So I hope you're happy. Um, I, <laughs> Rapture, I've not ever talked about that. Yeah, I think it's something that evangelicals believe in, um, like the end of time, and you know if it, it like if Trump, like well, not Trump specifically, but when when Jerusalem is like named the capital of Israel, and you know people like the like the Palestinians go back to. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is, but the end of times will come about um, under specific situations, and things will happen. And um, and the, yeah, the rapture will happen, and they'll go to heaven, and and they'll meet their beloved Jesus God person. I'm not a very, very religious person, as you can probably tell, but I think there's Eva evangelical Christians, a lot of them, like, <laughs> I feel like they just don't deserve, like, why call yourself Christian if you're allowing your dear leader, President Trump, to rip families apart from each other and spread fear and hatred into the hearts of, of Americans and, and just be a, a monster? And just get, get away with, you know, um, degrading women and calling people names. Is that really what Jesus would advocate? Is that really what your God would want? Because I feel like, and I was saying this to my friend yesterday, um, that I feel like um, evangelical Christians, um, uh, sort of use God as a justification for putting across their own ideas and like their own thoughts and you know especially politicians who use God and the Bible and Jesus to justify their own policy platforms. And I don't think that's on. You should always at all times have a separation between church and state because otherwise this sort of shit happens and you get you know, you get religion messing with and uh, influencing what happens, um, you know, politically, and that and that interferes with people's lives eventually. I'm going to turn this light on because it's getting a bit dark. There you go. Um, and I, yeah, I don't think it just turns into a fallacy and a farce um, when people just use God. And use Jesus and use scriptures out of the Bible, like Jeff Sessions did, like um, a few weeks ago, when he took a he took a passage out of Romans thirteen, I think it was from is that from the Old Testament, I think, um, to justify why we should be separating families. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but you know, the Bible like contradicts it contradicts itself hundreds and hundreds of times and is really not a reliable source of information at all like neither is the Quran neither is the Torah um and it's just like based on people who lived thousands of years ago who are very biased in their opinions of certain people and again is not a reliable source of, of like what you perceive to be fact. So I think you're wrong when you use Jesus and you use God in order to put forward your own agendas. I think that's just, just disgusting. I think that's that's just narrow-minded and sick and you shouldn't be doing that. If it affects other people, you shouldn't be doing it. Um...
Cameron said, the Bible is nonsense with a grain of salt of historical truth. Perhaps. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, I, I'll, you know, give me some evidence and I'll perhaps believe it, but not yet. <laughs> um, well, Nick Burt, hello. Uh, we have our own monster, a daughter of a vicar, noticing a pattern forming. Well, Trump is Trump is not well. He was he was the son of a entrepreneur, sort of real estate person, wasn't he? And you know he he like made himself bankrupt like seven times. He was never really successful and just lived and got his money through his father. It was never really earned, was it? So you know. It's he he brags all the time about like how rich he is and how much money he has when really like if he had just didn't in, um invested it in in shares um then he'd have done a lot better for himself um but sadly no he's a failure on all fronts um I can just say religion is bullshit. I think there is some sort of God, but do you really think religion is sacrosanct? Um, I think, well, I see myself more of as an agnostic atheist, really. Um, I, I'm very meh about religion. I, I just, I think religion has caused a lot of, a, a great deal of conflict in the world, like unnecessary, needless conflict or because of um is there a god oh my god's better than your god my god is right um my god is the only god and like you must obey my god because my god is is the only god that will mean that i go to heaven really how do you know this is there proof have you seen god have you heard god has god been whispering in your ear or is that some crazy Muller person or, or, or priest or extremist person um, telling you what to do and you believing it? <coughs> um, what well, I think God is another discussion, but religion is whole bullshit. Yeah, we can have that discussion another time as well, because I think that's, that's another black hole that can go on for ages. Um, a Jehovah's Witness sent me a book called What Does the Bible Say? I'm reading it now, <laughs> right now, obviously. Um, the amount of times American presidents talk about God when their country, you've got to think, it, is it really secular? Well, exactly. Um, that's exactly the point. It's, I mean, I think a lot of people in America, like there's, um, a majority of people who are largely secular and like the world as a whole I think is becoming more and more secular but I think there are still a lot of people especially older people who really cling on to their Christianity and their faith which is you know endearing if you're not you know peddling it all the time and you're not trying to push using Christianity or your religion as an excuse to push an agenda like my grandma was like a Irish Catholic and went to went to church every Sunday and had like copies of the Bible and you know really really um was an extremely like I admired her because of her faith but you know when that goes too far is when you're using God and Jesus and your Christianity and like pages of the bible in order to push forward your extremist agenda for reasons why th you think things should be happening and often like it's bad things and quite negative things that negatively impact other people's lives which i don't agree with um the amount of times american presidents talk about oh i've already read that comment um religion Religious right are close to Trump because of right to unborn baby and Israel. Oh yeah, the right go on all the time about um 
the right of the unborn child to life, like the right to life. Like they give a shit about the life of the baby after it's born. They don't. That's a pretense as well. That's a massive pretense. Like they pretend to care about oh the the precious life of this unborn child, and like oh it should it should be given you know a right to be born into the world. Except like we've just seen a prime example of like the way that children are being treated at the border, like immigrant children. Like you really don't care about children, do you? You really don't. You just proved that. You just proved that. So, like, that's just a load of rubbish. Like, life is not important to you, especially because especially you're involved in, like, several wars within the Middle East. You're proving day after day that life really isn't sacrosanct and really isn't precious. So, you know, spare me your bullshit about life is precious because from what I've seen of the right wing and you know, the American warmongering administrations of the past, life really isn't sacrosanct, like you say. So you're just liars. You're corrupt liars. Um, nobody is bad except Satanists. Well, at least Satanists admit to what they are, <laughs> which is, um, yeah, and, and they live by it as well. They live live by the sword and die by the sword. Admire them for that. Um, all religions think that they're the chosen ones, true. That is ironic about the American right and abortion is that they complain about private corporations from profiting from abortion. That is true. Righty-o, folks. Um, I said I'd keep this video short. Um, so I will, um, I don't know how long I've gone for, to be honest. Um, but yeah, um, just to say that, yeah, this is probably going to be the last video in a while. Um, so that's why I've done this today for you all and just had a nice little cozy chat and spoken about how terrible I think Trump is. And he is, um, and stuff going on in America. Um, I'm not going to talk about Brexit because I think that's been done to death and is still going on. And I still don't know what's happening. And every day I still don't know what's going on negotiation wise. And um, we can probably talk about that in another stream or chat at some point when we've actually got a result of some kind. Um, so yeah it's been really good to speak to you guys this evening uh, i hope you're all well and enjoying this lovely sunshine that we've been having i certainly have um and i will see and speak to you in another video um bye guys <laughs>